Hello, everybody. My name is Nabi Musharbash, and I will be presenting the paper of current research trends and challenges uh, in building emergency management, alongside with Professor Alessandro Carbonari, Professor Giga Turk, and Professor Alberto Girati. Uh, I study at uh, Politecnico della Marca in Italy, and I have my supervisor, Professor Giga, from University of Ljubljana, Slovenia. So basically, uh, I'm not going to go through the table of content, but it's mostly divided into four stages. First of all, the understanding of the, what, is what is the current uh, research and the terminologies, and then the process of how the literature review was gathered, and then what ha uh, and how it is categorized and subcategorized, and last but not least, the closing remarks in that conclusion. So first of all, uh, we had to define uh, emergency facility management, let's say. At first, uh, we need to uh, tackle the most important uh, aspects of facility management. So we started with maintenance, sustainability, safety, organization, and space. And these were the most important aspects that we have to take uh, into account when we talk about the areas of facility emergency management. And then the most uh, important parts that we've discovered during the research is that emergency management is the least field intervened in BIM, and not a lot of research has been concluded in that remarks. And when we did a further research and investigation upon that, we discovered that emergency management would optimize the system with real-time management systems. So in conclusion, what we discovered that uh, when, we in, when we intervene emergency management with real-time management systems in BIM, it would be something impactful and remarkable, and that field is not researched yet. Then we started to understand uh, the building information modeling terminology and uh, research and, and the important aspects of that. And we discovered the two important factors. First important factor is integrating facility management with building information modeling is a promising field with impactful results. And that was actually quite remarkable because uh, not a lot of facility management features are intervened in building information model. However, there is a lot of operation and maintenance approaches and theoretical methodologies are intervened within. And then we also discovered that BIM can contribute to the implementation of digital monitoring system. And that was actually a lot of contributions and papers that reached out to that point of aspect. And then we set our goals. We divided them into primary goals and secondary goals. The first primary goal is to set a preliminary literature, literature review, my excuse, and it's uh, basically a mind map that will categorize the first group of papers that we've gathered that we, uh, in regards to using keywords for building information model and emergency management and asset information modeling and many other aspects like that. And then after we concluded the first literature review categorization, we started actually going to the next step, which is a secondary literature review, as you can see here, in the presentation. And it, the second literature, uh, the, set, the second mind map literature review was emphasizing on emergency management using digital technology and digital BIM. So, the first, uh, the first categorization, we have gathered 117 research papers and we categorized them on, uh, preliminary on first category, which is digital twin, and then facility management and heritage BIM. And due to the research limitation and such so, we excluded Heritage BIM because it's out of our research field in that point of matter. So we focus more on digital twinning and facility management, and these are the most important uh, subcategories in, uh, in our research based on discussion and conclusions that we have concluded. First of all, construction, where it will uh, talk about the integration of the construction aspect, and then about the data managing uh, and the data management and how the data is archived and managed. And then digitalization, of course, the process of digitalizing some uh, traditional style of aspects, government concerned uh, aspects with, uh, which are uh, basically standardization of uh, government-based uh, pro uh, procedures and strategies, and of course, project management. And in regards to facility management, we focus on emergency management, operation and maintenance, which are uh, subcategories for uh, facility management, yet along with safety management, space management, and the most important one was about transparency, how the data is transferred in a very transparent and in a very direct forward matter. Starting with the digital twinning, we can just go directly into the categorization, and uh, we had a lot of papers, and they were really quite interesting. Uh, but uh, not all uh, papers were uh, targeted towards our aim and research in the goals. So we have selected a couple of papers, and one of the most important papers are uh, in regards to digitalization, which is uh, NH uh, Tan et al. 
and where they basically emphasize on the importance of facility management integration in the process of building information modeling. And of course, uh, later on, based on our literature review, we have gathered further uh, seven research papers that we deeply analyzed and we process such so. And in regards to facility management, one of the important uh, aspects actually that we focused on because the, it, will, it has been implemented and adapted many and many times, it was in regards to operation and maintenance. And actually the paper of Weiwei J et al, which I was really impressed that uh, I met her in person here. So it was something special for me because I've read her paper in a very deep and uh, in a very deep matter where I analyzed everything. And as well as uh, the plugins, because uh, our uh, our target actually is to uh, to head up uh, with our when we reach when we reach to the conclusions, we uh, concluded that a plugin will be a perfect solution of emergency management, uh, emergency real time management integration with building information model. And then um, all these papers gathered together, we started categorizing them, categorizing them based on the abstract and based on the introduction. And we categorize them into three main factors, technology, technology, core stage, and emergency management. So these are the three aspects. Take into account that there are a lot of papers that had, uh, they, that had many aspects, so we had to take that into account. And it was actually remarkably impressive how majority of the papers were focused on technology-based uh, focused, focused papers. And then later on, we're talking about the technology-focused papers. And we've discovered that three aspects that we have to take into account, which are building information modeling, asset information uh, modeling, and digital twinning. And then we divided these categories into two types of categories, intense and normal. And when we say intense or normal, we, we mean the level of, uh, the, level of uh, the involvement of that field. So for example, we have a lot of papers that they mentioned BIM, but, not that, but it was not considered the, the core of the uh, the core of the paper and the purpose. Meanwhile, there are some papers considered BIM the core of the paper. So this is uh, uh, the, these were the impactful things, and we just discovered that all papers, if not majority, they all focused here at that field. And when they mentioned digital twin, we discovered that in digital twin, actually, they, uh, when they are mentioned in those papers, it's going to be mentioned intensely in, in an intense matter. Then we go to the core topic papers. Uh, of course, if we want to expand our uh, core topic papers, it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a long process. So we categorize them into the three fields that we think that they are important. So we, called, uh, we talked about design, construction, and facility management. And we discovered that in facility management, actually, again, I repeat, which was actually um, a negative aspect in my point of view, where I discovered that in facility management, majority of papers only focus on operation and maintenance. And operation and maintenance is basically one field out of many subfields in facility management. So that was actually one of the things that we had to take into account. Moving on actually uh, to the secondary, uh, the secondary mind map literature review. And we discovered that uh, we, we can categorize them into four main categories, which are maintenance, evacuation, space, and digitalization. And most of the papers were focused on evacuation. And we discovered also that evacuation, they are implemented in a semi-traditional style in which can be considered, um, in which it can be considered uh, an opening opportunity for us to contribute with the research of integrating technology within. So afterwards, all uh, uh, in the final, let's say, in the final stages of that remark, we've decided to pick uh, these seven papers that focuses on uh, digitalization, government concerns, and data, and operation and maintenance. And the reason we picked operation and maintenance in that phase is because we want to, uh, to see how the methodology approach was happening. And in regards to the data, we wanted to see how the data is managed. And in regards to the government concern, we want to check the government status in that matter. And last but not least, the important uh, subcategory that we believe in, uh, we believe that it will going to uh, be a huge aspect in our research, it is digitalization, where we see some reviews and we see some uh, applications of facility management and of course, literature review harvesting and such so. So in conclusions, uh, we have a lot of conclusions actually, and I'm not going to go through them. But actually, the most important conclusions that we have in our mind, which are the overall investigation showed some potential research gaps that we will contribute to the modern construction industry. Because a lot of, uh, as we all know, uh, the industry now is changing into 
uh, a modernized technological aspect. So that would be a very important thing to take into account, and we are keen to do that. And then the secondary analysis also presented the direction in which emergency management with building information model is heading. So that would be a very challenging thing that we're going to do, and we're going to do further, deeper analysis on that. And last, uh, not last but not least, before the last, uh, the application of different algorithms and testing the, their suitability of various scenarios. So from the ga literature gathered and from the evacuation subcategories that we have gathered, we discovered that you should apply some algorithms in order to calculate the fastest and the safest route for the building users to evacuate from. And last but not least, the establishment of effective management of information flow in building information model environment. So the establishment, uh, the establishment of that aspect is very important because it's going to be revolutionizing the whole game as, as a whole. And I would like to thank you for your time. And if you would like to have uh, our contacts for further information, please scan the QR code for our LinkedIn profiles. And uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions for you. Thank you so much. Thank you.